Hey, welcome back to another Three Minute Thursday. Listen, let's cut to the chase. We've all downloaded things from the internet that we know we shouldn't have. I see you. And sometimes the things we download, we open, like movie files, pictures, PDFs, Word documents, spreadsheets, and many of those things can be riddled with malware. So what do you do? How do you protect yourself against something like that? Maybe you need to open that document that that person that's new in your life sent you. But before we get into all that, roll the intro. As always, let's get three minutes on that clock. Check this out. Open up Google, type in Danger Zone Rocks. It'll bring you to this cute little icon. Open that page up, hit download. I'm on an Apple Silicon chip, but they support every operating system. So just hit the button you need and we're done on this website. Let's go back to Google. We also need to download Docker. Here it is. Docker is a containerization application. So Danger Zone is going to use Docker and set up a little safe container to like detonate those files in. It's going to open the documents inside that container, convert them to PDF for us, and then do its magic. We'll come to that. Let's download this for the Apple chip. And now we wait. Thousands of deals later. Here they are. I'm going to install them. First up, Docker. You can install these in any order you want, it doesn't matter. Here's how difficult it is on a Mac to install an app. Done. Let's do the same for Danger Zone. Drag it in. And we're done. Okay. We can eject this and eject this. And we can also delete these two things. We're ready to start. I'm going to open up Danger Zone. Mac OS is protecting me. It says you downloaded this app from the internet. Are you sure you want to open it? That's ironic given what we're about to do. Yes, I'm sure this is safe. No, I don't want to be notified. Docker is installed, but it isn't running. Okay, let's open up Docker. Check again. There we go. We're ready to go. So you're on LinkedIn. Someone says, hey, Bob, you want a million dollars a year for this job? Open this PDF and apply. First of all, get your suspicious document, stick it in here. So we're going to click select suspicious documents. I've got one prepared on the desktop. It's just a mind map, a PNG, an image file, but the principle is the same. I'm going to open it. It's going to save the new safe image as document name dash safe dot PDF. It's going to move the original documents to a new subdirectory called unsafe. You'll see a new folder pop up on the desktop when that happens. And we're going to open the safe documents after we convert them. Bang. There it is. Mind-map-safe.pdf is at the top. I can quit this and if we go back to the desktop, you see the unsafe directory has been made and the original PNG file, which might have some malware in it, is there. That is Danger Zone. How cool is that? It's much easier and feels a lot more comfortable, even for me as a security professional, to use this than it is to try and manually check it. You could do some fancy segmentation on your network and open this in a virtual machine and capture the traffic and analyze to see if it beacons out to somewhere or you could even upload it to VirusTotal or some of those virus checking applications, but they're not always perfect. Plus then your document is in the cloud available for other people to see. So this just works right on your computer, no internet connection required. I'd love to hear in the comments below if you have had a bad experience opening a document or something. As for why I'm dressed like this, I'm going to go crack a 5k run. So until next week, peace.